Good afternoon. How was your sleepless night? With the pressure starting to tell, Dave Challoner has named arguably his boldest team selection since taking over as county boss. In a bid to halt county's run of three defeats in the last four, he has rung the changes. Big style. Recalls today for Jordan Keane, Andy Cannon, Anthony Sarsovic back from a three-match ban and there's a first league start for loan signing Courtney Duffus who replaces Connor Jennings up front. Yeah, I think County's decision-making in terms of how they handle Denton's been really good. Throwsdale, a bit fortunate. Let's it run to Newby. Newby on the right wing. Oh, surely that's handball by Miller. He's got a free kick, has he? He's given that, well, County are appealing for a penalty, saying he was over the line. I've got to say, I thought his feet were certainly behind the, uh, the penalty area line. And Calvin Miller is already on a booking. Well, this is it, surely. Is he going to show a yellow card or not? Of course he won't. He's given a penalty. He has given the penalty. The linesman has overruled the referee and he's made the right decision. It was a handball by Miller. Now, does the referee show a card here to Miller? It is a penalty to County. That's the big news. But is Miller going to be sent off? A handball by Miller. It's a penalty to County. Paddy Madden has the ball under his arms. I think Miller's lucky. Is he going to get away with this? He is. It's Madden against Loach. What a moment. Paddy Madden. Scores! He's had to keep it the wrong way and County lead by a goal to nil. It's County in front here. The handball from Miller. The penalty from Paddy Madden. Oh, goodness me. He showed some bottle there. Paddy Madden scores and County lead by a goal to nil. John, what a huge goal. A huge goal in this game. A huge goal in this season. No beavers required this time from Paddy Madden. He steps up and rolls it the wrong way. King with the throw up towards Denton. County winning it straight back. Madden. Halfway line is Keane. Gives it back to Paddy Madden. Newby on the overlap. Newby just slips, so Madden holds on to the ball, tries to take it the long way round. Newby takes over again. Newby inside the box, tees it up now. Chance for Duffus! It's there, is it? No, off the line! Oh, it bounced off the crossbar and grinds with the clearance. So unlucky for Courtney Duffus. He got his right boot to it. It came off the underside of the bar, didn't cross the line and grinds with the clearance. Chester a bit the better side, but they still only had one shot. They might get another one now, though, as Johnson overruns the ball. It's picked off his toes by Khan, who finds a Santi, who drags his shot wide of the upright. Khan saying he should get a free kick for an earlier foul in that passage of play, but the referee had already played a good advantage. A Santi took it on, but drags his left-footed effort wide of the upright, well wide of the upright, and it stays 1-0 to County. nephew of the former Tranmere legend John King takes the corner Grimes at the far post couldn't make a telling contribution Hinchliff with the block Grimes is complaining his shirt was pulled it was a scruffy attempt in the end from Grimes Hinchliff did enough to keep it out he's looked their biggest goal threat here he is again on the ball in a more typical role finding Khan Khan now taking on Crowsdale, going the long way around, gets the cross in, headed away by Johnson. Up towards Quigley, who's got to hold the ball up, but he's, he's lost possession, he's lost it to Weston. To be fair, great effort from Sarsovic to try and win it back. But Chesterfield come again. Mandeville through the gap. Squared now 
yards a row. Williams out to the flank for King. This is a great position for Chesterfield. King inside the penalty area. It's King. Oh, what a save from Ben Hitchliff. Diving low to his left-hand side. A wonder save from the county keeper. That could go down as the save of the season from county's number one. We are getting news that Boreham Wood have got a penalty. It's Boreham Wood nil. Wrexham won, but Boreham Wood, we're hearing, have got a penalty. Well, big drama here with that Ben Hinchliffe save. We're hearing that Boreham Wood have got a spot kick at home to Wrexham. And they've scored! It's Boreham Wood 1, Wrexham 1! Oh, what a moment in the season! Boreham Wood have equalised against the Red Dragons. Listen to the ovation from the county fans away to our left-hand side. They can't believe it. Ben Hinchliffe makes a wonder save at one end and the county fans celebrate at the other as Boreham Wood equalise against Wrexham. What a moment. <laughs> Ten men Boreham Wood have just done county a huge, huge favour. Oh, my head's fallen off. Oh. Have Wrexham bottled it today? Is that the turning point in the season? There it is, County have won by a goal to nil. The penalty from Paddy Madden proved decisive. But it's the penalty from Boreham Wood against Wrexham today which could prove absolutely crucial for County's chances of claiming the title. A magnificent victory here at the Technique Stadium and Scott Loach, the Chesterfield goalkeeper, applauds the County fans. That is fantastic to see down below us. That is wonderful. He recognises the importance of true, true support and that's what County have had today. What a game, what an occasion, what drama here at the Technique Stadium. The only goal of the game came on 34 minutes. Elliot Newby's cross from the right, blocked by the arm of Calvin Miller. And after a little conflag with the fourth official, the penalty was awarded. An upstep Paddy Madden to send goalkeeper Loach the wrong way and give County that crucial lead. County struck the crossbar through Courtney Duffers two minutes before the break and Jamie Grimes smashed it away. And Jamie Grimes had a couple of opportunities in the second half to draw Chesterfield level. They couldn't take them, but... <laughs> We've got to mention Ben Hinchliffe. A minute from time, he made possibly the save of the century to keep out the uh, right wing back, Jeff King, who cut in from the right touch line, fired the ball goalwards, and Ben Hinchliffe diving to his left made a terrific save. And now the county players march towards those travelling fans, the 2,600 strong Blue and White Army and the celebrations are unbelievable here at the Technique Stadium. But it's the news from Boreham Wood, from Meadow Park, that has tipped the balance. The title is firmly in county's hands now.